so good. I like a good. I like a good rosé. Well, see, you should have just done all that for the podcast. Oh, here, here, I'll go ahead. And, <laughs> but there I'll was a rosé that saved the day. Well, here, here. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. You're listening to Mix Off Air with Duffy Moon, Amber K, Camper Kyle, and Kelsey Lorenz. And now the Finer Things Club. We uh, kick, we didn't let Duffy be in the Finer Things Club because last time he ruined it. <laughs> yeah, he really did, didn't he? He didn't drink anything or taste anything. Yeah. And then he didn't let us talk. He was yeah. like when <laughs> Jim came into the Finer Things Club and just like made fun of the of Ashes the, book. Yeah, and he just made fun of all Emily's of it. Emily's Ashes, right? And didn't um, Angela's Ashes? <laughs> Whoa! And what? Didn't, Angela dies. In Angela's Ashes, it, that's a classic novel. Oh, I and then they turned it into a, mo- a movie. No, <laughs> on the Office, when they were having the Finer Things Club, yeah. Jim wanted to be part of it, so they finally let him be part of it because that's when he was dating Pam. Sure. And they were reading the book Angela's Ashes, gotcha. and so he didn't like actually read the book, yeah. and and he was just like guessing, and and he talked about kind of belittling it. Yeah, he was all top of the morning to you. Like just say like just being Stop silly. The morning doing because it was Irish. What Anyhow, we're just that? saying that's Canadian. Okay, that's when I try to do another <laughs> accent. It just always comes out Canadian or like kind of Australian, New Zealand. Minnesota, gotcha. and, yeah, Minnesota, NA. But you were just so we normally would taste test something right now, but mm. I mm. have to. Um, our engineer is peeking in. No, <laughs> we all what's going on? There? What? Um, but I have a bunch, I have four 14 year olds I dropped off down the street to paint some pottery. I have to pick them up and drive them so I can't taste anything. And Well, I mean, you know, 0.08, Amber. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Mornings some of their parents condone. don't eat. Some, uh, their, two of their parents don't even drink at oh, all, boy. period. Okay. So, yeah, so not to. Like one of them's never even tasted alcohol. So. Never? Uh-uh. Not, not even by accident? <laughs> Wait, do it by accident? Oh, oh no. no, I've drinking it by accident. My dad left the Jack and Coke in uh, the fridge in the Coke can. Uh, and so I just thought it was a Coke and I drank it. And, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I drink whiskey to this day, though. So that's I've probably why. never drank by accident. Oh. It's always intentional. And see, I can't drink either because I, I got to go to a, a football game later on. We're doing oh, the tailgate. Go, right. go I thought you're supposed to, I thought you're supposed Ooh. to drink at tailgates. Huh? Yeah. I thought that was part of tailgate. Yeah, we'll be on the air. So I can't uh, drink all yeah. that High dang FCC. Game? I know that darn but, FCC. But so Kelsey was telling us <laughs> yes. instead about a wine that she had tried. Yeah, I loved it. Absolutely okay. loved it. Because first of all, it was eight dollars. For me, that's a little pricey, you know. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, Kelsey, like treat yourself. Have a yeah. good night. I moved up from four dollar wine to eight dollar mm. wine when my husband got his new job because it pays really good. Yeah. Well, ever <laughs> so since I got I can get the eight dollar wine. Now. There you go. I moved up from box to bottle. So <laughs> we're we're both living the good life now. But what was it? It was uh, it's called uh it's apothic. Right. Um, I that, love that apothic. Brand. I usually get the really, really dark one. Oh, and see, and I don't like that. But see, then you, I show up to work the next morning and my lips are still purple. It like stains so my lips. Is, yeah. It's like you like stopped breathing. For- <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why when I show up wearing black lipstick, yeah, there you go. it's to cover it's wine, wine mouth. <laughs> but it's a uh, What? Which kind? Um, rose. So it won't stain your lips and that's pretty good. Or that's a good thing about it. But oh my gosh, a rose to save the day. Oh my <laughs> so good. I drank literally like everything but two inches of the bottle and was like, yeah, Kelsey, like, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's not that's a lot, though. You know, two inches. Well, it only took two coffee cups to uh, <laughs> two coffee cups. drink that much of the bottle. So do you like, not have any wine glasses? I do not. Really? Yeah. I'll so bring you some because oh, I have more than will fit in my cupboard because people keep <laughs> buying them for me. <laughs> well, perfect. I, I think we've got an extra one here downstairs that nice. has mix on it. Oh, yeah. Actually, I do have that in my office. Oh. I stole it from We'll take someone. it home. I should. It's a huge one. Yeah. Oh, fit the whole bottle. Yeah, Damn. that's the point. Man, pretty but, good. But that's so that's the uh, drink recommendation. Yes. For yeah. Not, Club. not sweet. Not, mm. not, not stale. Just. I'll, I'll recommend the peach edition of Red Bull. I've been drinking these since they came out. That's the one, remember? Crisp. I was drinking it and oh, I was peach? like, it's sugar free. Yeah. And you're like, no, or was it pear? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. said pear. It was pear. Is that it pear? Was pear. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, oh. I'm currently drinking water because mm. I walked half a block to get over here um, and it was really hot outside. Where is that water from, Amber? Um, we have a cooler over there by Crisp the... Crisp office cooler water. That's oh, pretty good. Is I'm, it? I'm just saying, yeah, that's that's what you're drinking. Oh, so we're all wow. drinking some pretty in fancy a, stuff. In a mm-hmm. oh, I have water. Okay. But, um. Yeah, so <laughs> we thought we would review some shows that we're all into right now. Yeah, and just let everyone know what to watch. I think it's the weekend. Yeah. So you can get your wine. You could binge. Yep. Start a yes. new series. You know, it's a good weekend for that. Mm-hmm. I'll be camping this weekend. Really? So I, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I'm going to hot. Oklahoma yeah. City. Yeah, I'm yeah. having my daughter's birthday party. So I guess none of wow, us will be we watching are anything. So but. busy. Oh, I will. I, I, I watch it on my phone with oh, earbuds. There you go. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> so Amber, you've been trying to get me to watch The Handmaid's Tale for some time now. Yeah. Yeah. So and you, so you want to go ahead and give us like a? Yeah. So Handmaid's Tale was actually written in the '80s, and then for whatever reason, Hulu um, three seasons ago decided to turn it into a series. And it kind of took the world by storm. And then the book had a resurgence. And so I ordered the book off of eBay and got one that was actually printed in the 80s, All like right. as close to first edition cool. as I could get. Because I had like old books anyways. Cool. And read that. And then I, but I didn't actually start watching it until this last weekend. And I'm currently, I'm still in the first season. I think I'm on like episode nine, maybe eight or nine. I have to watch it really late. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I won't, I'll try not to give any spoilers, but it's really, really, really good. The premise is life is like normal, um, but then for some reason, fertility and birth rates go start dropping year after year after year. And then it comes to where like women are hardly having babies. And when they do have babies, they will die or die within a couple months. And so um, this group kind of comes, they, they declare martial law. So then they can, they say there's terrorists, but you know if that ever actually yeah. happened. They just claim that so that they can change some of the laws. And so they take away, um, this all kind of happens in the first episode. The main character, June, is played by Elizabeth Moss, and she's like fabulous in it. But um, so she's at work. They come in. They say a new law was passed. Women can't work. So all the women just have to like pack up and leave. And, See, wouldn't that be nice, though? And, <laughs> and then they freeze. <laughs> I was just about to say, I was like, man, this is just going to like, Fuel my hate fire for Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> but so then they freeze all their bank accounts also. But they're, if they're married, their husbands can get the money out. So that's kind of the first step. And then they start taking over and they come in with machine guns and everything. And so she had had a child. Mm-hmm. So all the women who had had children that survived get taken and turned into handmaids. See, and this is... I started watching this show, Mm -hmm. but it got too real for me. Because one, first of all, like... It's been going on in your life there. Well, I mean, like, (laughs) it's just like, uh, it's scary, like, how, like, all of a sudden we're back in, like, the 1900s, like, women this, this, that. You mean it's scary how fast government can rip away your rights? Well, see, and that's where it's interesting, is they, they choose to take certain things back, but they all, you know, the higher up still, they'll drive Mercedes SUVs. Yeah. They have machine guns. So they still keep the technology, but they don't have TVs in their houses. They don't have cell phones that they're yeah. using, things like that. And so, but they dress real old fashioned or the women do. And, and you see, know, that's so it's what I'm mixture. saying. Also, I come from a pretty bit like a, a family of breeders. All right. <laughs> My like mom, dog breeders? <laughs> no. horse, horse breeders. Human breeders. <laughs> oh, that's my illegal. My mom, I am one of six. My sister has Kyle's five. mom told him that's illegal. <laughs> Human breeding is illegal. Uh, okay. You'll catch something. Okay. Because he's all into obeying the laws. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, yeah. So I just know I would be wearing the freaking red cape. Yeah, yeah. You, you should return to watching it, though, because oh, as it goes, it... The first few episodes, it all follows June, but mm-hmm. then it starts showing the woman, the house that she's at. So what they do is they go live with one of the commanders in the military, yeah. and then they have to perform a ceremony once a month to try to get pregnant. And it's very weird, and I won't get yeah, into it's details. So weird! Oh my gosh! But um, so but then they start wow. the show starts going into the wife's history. Um, of the house that June lives at and she actually helped to establish some things and so things have kind of turned for her and it goes into June's husband's history 
It goes into her friend Moira's history. It starts showing the backgrounds of some of the different characters. Nice. Okay. And it flashes back and forth to like three different periods of time. And it's shot. It's really pretty the way it's shot. Really so good production acting. The is production good. Okay. is good. The cinematography is good. Yeah. It, There's it three actually, seasons out. Three seasons. They they actually it won a lot of a lot yeah. of awards. Yep. Huh? No, it's it's very good. I'm so hooked on it, but I can't watch it till the kids go to bed. But y'all don't have that problem yet, but let me tell you, it <laughs> sucks because then I'm up until eleven at night because I can't start it until like nine nine thirty because mm. my daughter's fourteen. Sometimes I send her to bed at eight thirty <laughs> because I tell her that I I want to watch my show. And there she just can't be in the living room, so she has to go to bed, but she can read if she wants. <laughs> there she, you I bet go. You every night she's been like hiding behind the couch, just like watching. <laughs> well, this is a dark show, Mom. Well, yeah. but I started letting her watch it with me. Right. And then she wasn't there, and I continued watching it, and then they had the ceremony. Oh, and she and was, I like, was like, mm. she can't <laughs> no. watch this. And see, and that's like. <sighs> It's just yeah, that show is too real. I might I might have to pick you, it back you up. You gotta watch I it. It's very addicting. Uh, and you, you said there was three seasons. There's three seasons. Speaking okay. of a, uh, well, sorry, what? Hmm? Oh well, with that third season, like I I my show that I have been binge watching right after Outlander. So first of all, I'm just gonna say it, Outlander. I have watched. Th- the first season three times. I love it so much. It has two seasons. Yes. Or it three. actually has th- four. Four? Oh. And I've, I've watched them all, but that. Mm, mm, I just have an unhealthy relationship with that show. Anyways, too, too much right there. Sometimes she's but scary. I, I listened to the audiobooks and I watched the first season of Dang, oh, man. bragging oh, much over here. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's, it's a very appealing Oh, I see what you mean. You guys are so inappropriate. <laughs> it's so good, Kyle. You Just know what's try great about it. Star Wars? This big buff Scottish <laughs> man. What do you expect? There is not a single kiss in Star Wars, and but but you feel not, the romance. No. In the first episode, you can feel the romance, even no. though there's it's between the brother Did and the sister. Yeah, I was just, just about to say. So you can still feel it though. Gross. By episode six, it's normal. Everything but, makes sense now. <laughs> Ew. But Anakin and Princess Nabadala. Nabadala. They, <laughs> you know what's funny is you kind of almost got her name you right. You did. You almost did. Um, Nabadala. Where does that name come from? <laughs> well, but they like hook up and get married and yeah. she gets knocked up and stuff. So I think they more than kissed. I'm talking. Oh, that's not the first one, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> well, ever since Outlander kind of. Like I, I had to take a break because I was getting way too attached <laughs> to Jamie. Unhealthy. I really was. That's yes, such, you're on a first name basis with I, a fictional li- character. I did. I literally <laughs> told Maverick, I was like, "You just don't love me like Jamie <laughs> Fraser does." <laughs> and he just, could you live in a cave? <laughs> Like, could you take on the British Army for me? Your boyfriend's like sitting there trying to figure out why glue doesn't stick to the inside of the bottle, and you're going on about this, and he's like, "What is, what is going on?" Oh, oh no, he he. <laughs> Anyways, another <laughs> podcast day. But uh, I I really got into the marvelous Miss Maisel. Yes, and I, I watched all of that oh, here at work. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, it is so bad. How did you get away with that? Well, because I when I'm doing. When I'm working on a specific thing that I work on here that has to do with a lot of, it's just like checking numbers, yeah. basically. Yeah. I, I put something on my laptop and put headphones on. Gotcha. And then I can just, that show, you can, like, you don't have to watch it too you much. You can just listen. You can listen yeah. to it. And it, it's and great. I, yo, it's so good. And I, I, I am one of those people that I like to, uh, I don't like when the show's all hyped up. And so I'm like, no, I can't be the, like, no, no, no. Because it actually won a I'm the same lot way. Of a, yeah, a lot. I just of, watched ooh. it this year. Same. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I was like, all right. And basically this woman, it's set in like the 50s, like 1950s, um, like the fashion kind of like the, right, you would say, or 20s? Yeah. No, I think it's in the 50s. Okay. So it's in the 50s. Um, Back to like kind of that generation, that kind of like outlook perception on life this and that um but she they're in uh, she is a from a jewish family and so if you guys have ever seen like the nanny mm-hmm. it's kind of like that kind of comedy but it's it's rated r <laughs> yeah a lot. well it starts out she's married and yes. her husband's trying to be a stand-up comic mm-hmm. but it turns out she's actually writing most of his jokes for him or tries to when yes. he does his own stuff he do- he's not he's funny not funny and then she ends up becoming a comic and so then it's following her as a woman in that time being a comic but she's like a very 
raunchy comment. Yes. So for a woman in the 50s, 60s to to be speaking like that, much less up on a stage, was like groundbreaking. Yeah. And oh, so, yeah. but so she's the, like Amy Schumer, but for the 50s. basically, basically, well, but she's funnier, funnier than Amy. Yeah, Schumer. Definitely yeah. Funnier. Oh, so funny. And the the chick that plays Not the all actress, L.A. California, now. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but she, um, Spade, correct? Her David, Catherine Spade, or oh, Kate Spade. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kate Spade, the designer, is her aunt in real okay, life. Okay, there you go. Yeah. There you go. But what's her name? I, for, I forgot the actress's I name. I don't remember. Yeah, well, she does such an, a phenomenal job. Like, it's kind of like the, the hands made, not like story-wise, but just production. It actually is, if you think it. about it. Both of, both of these shows are, and the one Kyle's going to talk about, mm-hmm. are about women who are kind of being suppressed and in a way. Suppressed. And then they have to like get out of that yeah. and like really go against the grain of what what oh. they're doing or expected my show isn't yeah starlight that. oh well that's that's a semi that's a minor plot point though that's not yeah, the main but, plot but point. I well, mean, that's not there's the, still that yeah twist. sure 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 yeah so. but no that one's really good and that's Such on a good one. uh amazon amazon, yep. amazon. So is uh, the boys. Have you guys ever heard watched that yet? I am on the second episode. I there you saw go. It. I was watching that at work today. <laughs> what do you What do you think? What do you, Research. Pretty, I like it. Yeah, it good. definitely also rated R. None of these are child friendly. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm yeah. barely watching them because it's so hard to find time to watch. I that. think Handmaid's Tale probably not. I just think I Handmaid. think the boys Handmaid's Tale. I think the boys Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> <laughs> I think, saying that. I I think the boys is more so just because of the. The uh, the gore. It factor. has Nate Archibald from Gossip Girl. He <laughs> plays cool. Deep, the character <laughs> Deep, and he's aging well. <laughs> he is a yeah. He's a creep in the movie in the yeah, TV oh, yeah, show. No, I tell sure. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so is, yeah. so the boys is like this. It's an anti superhero flick, which is nice because there's so many superhero movies now, mm-hmm. and so it's like a look at what happens if the superheroes weren't so good. And so I won't spoil. <laughs> well, but anything. the people don't know. So the way that it's right, in the description right, right, right. is if superhero. Heroes were real, heroes. and they he was superheroes were real, and were famous. No one? <laughs> <laughs> but they're as famous as celebrities, mm-hmm. but as powerful as politicians. Mm-hmm. That's the description. Oh. Yeah, and so and this everyone, the main so character, like the and this Kardashians. isn't a. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> if you say so, this uh, this isn't a spoiler because it happens like within the first episode. So this and and you see it in the preview. So this isn't a spoiler, but the main character is all about it. And then his girlfriend kind of gets taken out on accident by one of the superheroes, and then he kind of goes down this revenge path. And then oh, it's he, so gross how she dies! Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, like when how I, did she die? When Are we I, allowed to say this? Um, I'll, yeah, I'll say just because it, it happens at the very beginning of the episode. Okay, yeah. she stand, she steps off the curb. So they're just and, standing there. Yeah, and they're standing there, and he's holding both their hands, and they're talking, and they're talking about something good. Well, this one superhero that can run really fast, he runs. <laughs> So fast through her that she sprays, and all, like she that's, blows up. all she, that's left are her hands yeah. holding that guy's hand. Annie from sales is walking by. She's seen it apparently, and she can confirm it was an explosion. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. It's oh. gory. It's but yeah, so it's not like a Disney superhero show. No, but so oh. that's then they try to cover it up, yeah. and so that's when he starts realizing something's going on, yeah. and so and it's just this. It's really it's, it's a different and it's really funny. It's a it's a different look at things, and I like it when things are different and yes. when it's like right. it's got well, this there, gritty kind of feel to it. There's seven main superheroes, mm-hmm. and they're um, called the Seven. There's lots of superheroes, but they're called the Seven, and so they yeah. have a whole team of publicists and everything that make them look good. Yeah. So if they're doing a rescue or anything, there's cameras there. They they set it up beforehand, gotcha. and they do all of that. The guy whose girlfriend died, he um, meets someone and and who's trying to like expose them and make yeah. them answer for all the bad things that they do. Oh, okay. And and it's a uh, produced. Well, it's yeah. it, it's um it's like a one camera drama. Yeah. And really? the, the last thing I'll huh. say about it is the worst thing, which is that the ending of it is a very like it's just like oh it, it couldn't just end and then have another sequel. It had to be a uh, uh, what's cliffhanger. So the end is a yeah. cliffhanger, which yeah, isn't a bad you, thing. And you, it, there's only one season. Yeah. And the second one is coming out soon. And there's only oh. eight episodes. Yeah. So and it goes by quick when you're binge watching it. Third season <laughs> of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is about to come out. In December. Already, December 6th, I believe. Not till December? I yeah. it was sooner. And then or how maybe far? September. And then the uh, third season of Handmaid's Tale just came out. Okay. So, so. go check those out. I, I think we all think... I haven't checked out Mr. Maisel, Miss Maisel yet, yeah, I, but I think they're all pretty good shows. It's funny. Go check it out. Mm-hmm. Tell us what you think. 
And uh, until then, catch us on the morning show, Mixed Mornings, every weekday, 6 to 10, yeah, and if on you the Mixed watch- Off Air podcast. If you watch it on YouTube, you can comment down there and, there you and go. Uh, comment back. There you go. All right, and catch us there. We'll see ya. Kelsey? Bye. <laughs> I gotta go get those kids. Okay, good luck. <laughs>